Hello students in our previous video we studied about sources of energy we also gave a thought on why there is so much talk about energy crisis if there is so much of energy around us it is because there is scarcity of usable form of energy and not the total energy around us we also learned about different criteria of how to choose source of energy wisely so now after learning so much about sources of energy let us classify these sources into various types students the sources of energy can be classified according to different criteria like their source their commercial and non commercial value their renewability and the time of use accordingly the sources of energy can be classified as primary and secondary based on their source commercial and non commercial based on their monetary value and availability renewable and non renewable based on the renewability time and conventional and non conventional based on the time of use let us see them one by one students primary sources of energy are those which are found in nature for example wood coal crude oil natural gas etc other primary sources of energy are nuclear energy geothermal energy potential energy that is energy due to earth's gravity etc while secondary sources of energy are usually those sources of energy which are converted from primary energy source for example petrol and diesel which are converted from crude oil lpg which is converted form of natural gas etc the energy sources that are available in the market and which can be purchased at a definite price from the producer agencies are called commercial sources of energy for example electricity coal and refined petroleum products while the energy sources that are not available in the market for a price are called non commercial sources of energy for example cattle dung firewood and agricultural waste these sources are traditionally gathered and are not available in the markets renewable sources of energy are those sources that are easily recoverable from the nature in fact students their recovery rate is either equal to or more than their consumption rate in other words renewable sources of energy are inexhaustible that is which can be replaced as we can use them and can be used to produce energy again and again for example sunlight wind water etc students as you can see these sources of energy are endless and can be used to produce energy abundantly in fact these sources do not cause any pollution to the environment and hence they are eco friendly on the other hand non renewable sources of energy are the sources whose recovery rate are very slow these sources take long time to regenerate themselves naturally for example coal and crude oil if these resources once used up they take millions of years to form again also these resources cause pollution to the environment now let us see the last type of classification that is conventional and non conventional sources of energy conventional sources of energy are those sources of energy which are being used since the beginning that is olden times for example firewood cattle dung coal etc in fact with time we have also learned 
the different ways to use this conventional sources of energy but due to their over consumption they have got exhausted and their scarcity is created on the other hand non conventional energy sources refer to the sources that have been identified recently these sources being recent will not get exhausted in a perceivable time period for example bio energy solar energy tidal energy wind energy etc students since they are recently being put to use we still have to develop many techniques to use them efficiently for the generation of energy now students you must be thinking why to classify energy into so many types if we can use them without classifying well you think about its answer and we will see you in the next video